Let's look at some examples of when you're given the graph of a line and you're asked to find out the equation. In other words, given the graph of a line, find the equation of this line. So let's look at this line first. We have our uh, grid. And as mentioned, we know that the equation of a line is equal to y equals mx plus b. Let's write it down here. Uh, over here, actually. y equals mx plus b. This is the slope-intercept form of the line. And um, m represents the slope, b represents the y-intercept. So let's start collecting out our data. First, uh, by looking at this line, the first thing that we can do is to collect the y-intercept. Right. Why do I say that? Because it's the most obvious one. We know that the y-intercept is the point at which where the line crosses the y-axis, so it happens to be this one right here, and this point happens to be negative 1. So let's write negative 1 here. Right. Okay, so we have this point. Let's plot it for now. And now let's figure out the slope of this line. Now we know that the slope is going to be equal to rise over run. Uh, let's write it down here, rise over run. Also, by looking at this graph, we know that this line is increasing, is increasing as we move to the right. And so we expect, expect the slope to be positive. So let's grab another point. So the way to, to figure out the slope from this graph is basically by grabbing, uh, finding out two points on this line, two points that are obvious. And normally, um, when you're given a line on a grid, try to find two points um, where, where, it's, uh, where it's obvious to figure out what they are. Right, where they cross, um, where this line cr is crossing through the, the intersection of the two grid lines, right? So, for example, we have this point here, the y-intercept, so that was pretty clear. And let's find another point. And I think, by looking at this line, right, I hope it's very obvious, uh, we look at this point over here as well, right? So these two points seem to be very clear. Right to to figure out. You can grab any two points, but for this explanation, I'm simply uh, using these two points that are more obvious. Okay, so now let's look at this. We have let's figure out our rise and our run. So, what's our rise between these two points? It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have a rise of five. We have a rise of five and a run of and a run of from this point to this point uh one two three four five six okay so it's five over six so now the equation of this line is is y equals so we simply substitute once we collected our data we simply substitute these and the equation of our line is equal to y equals 5 over 6x minus 1, because it's our y-intercept. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's look at another example, and let's go much uh, quicker on this one. So we have this. Now we have a line decreasing as we move to the right. So if it's decreasing as we move to the right, we expect this the slope to be negative, okay? Let's write down y equals mx plus b as a reference here, and let's collect our data, right? So first, let's plot the y-intercept. It's the easiest point, and it's this one right here, and this point happens to be uh, 1, 2, 3, okay? So our y-intercept is positive 3, and our slope is, well, as mentioned before, since it's decreasing to the right, we expect the slope to be negative, so let's just write down negative for now. All right, and now let's figure out another point on this line. Let's figure out another point on this line um, that that will help us to figure out the rise and the run. Okay, so this one we could grab that one, but it makes it a bit difficult, right? This one as well because we have to figure out you know, somewhat of a fraction of a unit. Uh, but this point is pretty clear; it's it's right there. It's right at the intersection of these two grid lines. So let's grab these two points. And okay, now let's figure out what our rise and our run is for each of these. So it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, between these two points, the rise is 1, and the run between these two points is 3, right? 1 and 3. So 
our slope is rise over run, rise is 1, and run is 3. Well, in fact, the rise is negative 1 over 3. And so the equation of our line, of the equation of this line is, we substitute our values, right, m and b. So y equals negative 1 over 3x plus 3. 